Hello everybody, it's Peter. It's a Saturday, 17th of August at, uh, let's see what the time is, hmm, 10 past 7 in the evening. Here is a, it's a weir, it's the smallest weir I've ever seen really. It's an overflow from a nearby major waterway and I wonder if you can guess what that is. I'll keep you in suspense no longer. Here's another big clue. It's a very slow flowing one with a towpath. Yes, it is the Grand Union Canal. Now, um, looking up canal, there is the old viaduct which carries the Chiltern Line trains across the valley. We're in the Colne Valley, or as I sometimes call it, the Grand Union Canal Valley, which is more of a mouthful. Um, now, there are two or three interesting features from this point. One is that it's quite a good view of the viaduct. So if a train goes past, which, be, which may or may not happen in the next couple of minutes, I can uh, film it. Secondly, you'll see that the canal is covered in a, a semi-covered in a green fungus or algae. Uh, now it's it's only about 20% covered here, but further down canal, in that direction, to, towards the south, it is solid bank to bank uh, algae. In fact, so much algae that you probably can just about see it in the distance. There, there are patches where it's kind of solid, and patches where it's intermittent, like here. The um, the, the slight worry is. I did see a narrowboat go past about 10 minutes heading south straight into the algae and shortly after it hit it, it stopped, well the, the, the engine stopped and I wonder if um, the algae is so, uh, put, you know, so, so running riot that it actually had clogged up the propeller uh, which would make the canal impassable if that happens. Uh, which is a shame, but uh, this happens about about the same time every year, about this time. Uh, going, we're in something called the Harefield Strait, and it's called that because it goes to Harefield, and yes, it's straight. All the boaters call it the Harefield Strait. Uh, uh, if you go south from here, uh, you go round a little bend when, when the strait ends and there's a little bridge you can go get onto the golf course that way uh, and then you get to Franz Cafe which is perhaps unique in the world and there are two artificial waterways crossing each other. Uh, this Grand Union Canal is obviously artificial, it was made about 1800 I think and uh, the, uh, but it actually goes over the top of an even earlier construct which is the Frey's River. And uh, I thought about filming it as I came past, but uh, uh, all the algae made it rather an unattractive thing to do. Uh, there, there's almost no wildlife, very rare, rarely that happens. I've seen two ducks in the last 45 minutes uh, scrabbling around trying to get something to eat. Uh, maybe the algae is, it's, uh, Killing off um, the morsels that they that they eat. Um, also, quite amazingly, but impossible to film, is um, the one thing about the algae on top of the canal is that it it will be drifting uh, in the direction that the water goes, which is down in that direction. And I did watch it; it's moving about sort of an inch every minute, or was. And as I watched it, it actually changed direction. The algae started drifting up canal. And I thought, this is really weird. And I still don't really understand it. But to me, that, uh, that intimates that stasis has been achieved. In other words, the canal just isn't flowing. Uh, there aren't any boats about anyway to, uh, uh, to negotiate the locks, which of course would trigger um, a, a rush of water going down canal. So 
but that was impossible to film because because it's moving so slowly you just have to take my word that that's what happened um a final uh, feature of this particular place is this tree uh so many trees have uh the the, the weed wrap round them now sometimes fairly futile attempts are made to cut it off and uh sometimes not but it, this is a nice little spot really I mean it, the, the canal obviously overflows here ultimately I presume this this water is a tributary of the river Colne which is which is just through there somewhere not very far away at all uh, so you would expect there to be some activity on the canal itself given that it's it's overflowing into the coal underneath my feet. But no, there's nothing, there's just a gentle drift to the south. Uh, I don't think if anything can be done about the algae, and I don't know if it does clog up uh, boaters' propellers. I imagine it does do. I mean, there are quite a few uh, uh, programs on the telly now of people having sort of boating adventures. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and these these are these are made more amusing inverted commas by uh, by some of them being sort of amateurs or old actors or whatever uh, who encounter difficulties and that's supposed to be entertaining. But there is one chap I, I think he goes around sort of north in the Midlands canals who um, actually lives on his boat properly and his his story is quite interesting. It, it's just so, so difficult sometimes just to sort of keep going but uh, and he has to uh, unclog his propeller every now and then so to speak sounds like a metaphor let's not go there now there, having said that there's no wildlife of course immediately um, uh, something splashes away the other side of the canal to prove me wrong and uh, <laughs> and of course no train is going over the viaduct, even though I'm at a, a good vantage point. Uh, this viaduct itself is only, oh, I'd say four or five hundred yards south of the HS2 viaduct, which is pretty complete now uh, within sight of the canal. Um, I, I do hope to film it but uh this this one is very much older but someone can tell me my guess is perhaps 100 years and it's all brick uh, thousands if not millions of bricks put into this they didn't have things like uh, dominique in those days uh, so there we go uh, e even in a little sort of environment like this that appears on the surface to be rather uninteresting just just an ordinary section of a canal there are plenty of things to, to see or to theorize about at least i, I find that anyway uh thanks it's as i say it's saturday it's the uh, 17th of august and uh thanks for watching and um cheers take care